made to look so easy, so matter of fact. The crowd love it, and Doherty has to sit and watch. And he's two frames to one behind. And, well, how often do we see this young man get back-to-back -back centuries? Other players get them occasionally. It's becoming a very, very regular habit with him, Dennis, and, and it's a pleasure to watch, really. I think what's happened with Stephen, he, he's so relieved to get uh, over the line after leading 8-5 against Peter Ebden in the semi-final. I think he's so pleased to be here today in the final. Could easily have lost that last frame. He wants to get his hands on that trophy again. And I think he seems so relaxed out there today. And uh, just, as you say, unbelievable snooker we're watching here this afternoon. Yes, uh, he's had the odd lapse in the odd match, missed quite inexplicable balls and frankly I think Ken here is going to have to hope for that yes Ray I think Ken just isn't going to be able to make Thank any you. mistakes this afternoon Ken and he's capable of doing that he said in his interview there's only one player can play at any one time at the table on the cushion. One. And full commitment to the shot. of this match so far. Interesting point there, Ray. I'm just trying to figure out how many safety shots have been played. Uh, it's been very few. control with the cue ball there. Thirty three. Now just taking up that last point, the only four safety shots that's been played with the break offs in each frame. Thirty eight. When they look safe, they weren't.
63. Perfect angle on the blue again. If the reds won't pot, he's had a look to see if anything will go into the left corner. If not, a little cannon would open them up. a little further away from this red than is comfortable. 75. And I thought he had a nice problem for Stephen. I said it a good few years ago and I'll still stick by it. I think this is the greatest player that's ever picked up a snooker cue in the history of the game. session interval. Well, I say, can you believe it? You've got to believe it. You're watching here live and the century making of Stephen Hendry in this championship and in this final particularly quite amazing stuff. Now, he's now popped in another one of 130. That means he's got seven of the 14 centuries scored in this uh, championship. Well, it's to see that Ken Doherty has got three as well. And only uh, three other players have actually joined the club. Peter Ebden, James Watt and I with a couple, and Darren Morgan. But seven centuries and three in a row. That's the third time he scored three centuries in a row in a match. It's only been done 12 times in the history of snooker. Records, facts, they're just flooding out of this fun already. John, it is an incredible performance already. It's unbelievable. I think the only thing I can describe it, Clive Everton once came out with a quote in commentary about Jimmy White. And I think you could use it for Stephen. You should hang the plaque on the table and say, Danger, genius at work. <laughs> I think that's the only thing you could say. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, 